With the end of our road trip around the corner, we began to look forward to returning to our normal lives. Making our way back west, I started to come to terms with the fact that I just may not reach my goal of drinking 100 cups of coffee. Initially, I thought it would be the end of the world if I failed. But then, I started to feel the contrary. The world is sure to end if I continue on this route. Coming enlightened to the meaning behind the common phrase, everything is good in moderation. A moderate amount of coffee makes me feel great. Hell yes. Oh god, I need my cup. I need my coffee. It takes the grumpy edge off my morning and helps guide me through the day without losing my mind. Get that f***ing coffee up inside me! When the very thin line between regenerated and over-caffeinated is crossed... Hello! I'm having a heart attack. Freaking out! Yo, I put the brown down my throat. Get that coffee, make me f***ing glow. Big eyes. Feeling kind of f***ing high, I'm squeezing this steering wheel like a strong guy. The point is, I love coffee and I drink a ton of it. But I should probably have a little bit more respect for my tipping point. Given how far out of the way Salt Lake City was to us, we had to find at least one more coffee roaster on the route home. But lucky for us, we happened to find River Rock Roasting Company, which was beautifully located on the edge of a canyon neighboring Zion National Park. Utah, as most people know, is a uh, predominant, predominantly LDS uh, community, mm -hmm. and it is part of their religion where they don't drink coffee, um, and so getting into that industry here, at least down in southern Utah, uh, was a bit risky. Mm -hmm. Originally, when I first moved here, I wanted to do a brewery, mm -hmm. but uh, that was a little more difficult to get into than yeah. coffee roasting, So, and I just really love the... Um, the process of taking raw materials and turning it into a finished product. Beer, it's a little more complex. With coffee, it's just, it all happens in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, we realized the potential it had with the view and the need for it down here to have a really good coffee shop, because there isn't one. Yeah. Uh, at least not for 20 miles in any direction. So yeah. we decided to go for the full-blown coffee shop and do the baked goods. Yeah, which are great as well. That was yeah. an awesome piece I had. Thank you. They are incredible, aren't yeah, they? They're yeah, they're really great. So that's my partner Naomi's doing. <laughs> hey, before we get going, you want to try a shot of espresso? I'd love to, man. I'd All right. We had one more interview booked in Las Vegas, but when they canceled, Jesse and I were stoked to get home a day early. We're beat, we're broke, I'm gonna go home, get my bed, and hang out with my kitty. I gained some great knowledge on this road trip, about coffee culture, roasting, brewing, tasting, marketing, and anything else to do with the majestic plant. I learned about my beautiful country, which I had never seen so in depth. And most importantly, I learned about the countries and farmers that are growing our most appreciated commodity and the relationships that our coffee roasters are building with them. A lot of our passion is derived on helping allow those economies to flourish. You guys sent them some American bicycles and some, sent some, you some cargo bikes. bicycles. And these were, these were some thank yous. Our current buzz of artisan coffee in the United States is single-handedly building up hundreds of communities in third world countries. We, we've enjoyed doing this project and working with these guys and it's been really fulfilling. Like bringing coffee out mm -hmm. for the first time out of the jungles of Papua New Guinea. Yeah. Pretty awesome to Seattle. Uh, same farms and families I've supported. Uh, a lot of it is direct trade. Uh, then we deal with a lot of coffees that are organic and fair trade. The third wave coffee scene is doing its part in helping the world become a more habitable place. And I'm happy to be a part of it. Thank you. All right, so we just got back to the pancake epidemic in LA. 
the road trip is over. But the show is not, not until I hit 100 cups of coffee. So, let's do it. So it looks like I have 12 coffees left to go. And I'm gonna dry drink them all right now. Cheers. Yo, Darren, you want a shot? Yeah. Cheers. Is this 100? 100. Cheers to 100. Cheers. Back in LA. Caffeine Nation. Caffeine Nation. Oh. All right, there it is. 100 cups of coffee. Thanks for watching Caffeine Nation. I'm Brandon Davenport, and I am out.